Hello guys and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at BAFX. Hope you all uh, had a great trading week last week since um, most of the chart that we talked about in this overview um, followed the plan very nicely and uh, we've made uh, lots of pips in our trading room and I think uh, some of you must have uh, also done uh, good uh, based on that. So uh, yeah, let's um, take a look at the upcoming week's uh, trade ideas and see what the market have for us. While I roll the interim disclaimer, please hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, um, get ready for a really bumpy week ahead. Uh, as you see, lots and lots of uh, major events uh, on the calendar and I have only the major one. We do not, I did not put the medium um, impact events on the chart. And um, yeah, as I said, a lot of um, news events that you need to keep an eye at. I will not go through every one of them, but we have a cash rate, RBA statement from the Aussie. We have employment change and unemployment rate for New Zealand. Um, ADP non-farm employment change on Wednesday from the US. We have uh, BOE monetary policy uh, on Thursday, Super Thursday. We have unemployment claims also on Thursday for the US. Uh, we have monetary policy statement for Aussie on Friday. We have employment change and unemployment rate from the CAD uh, and we have the non-farm payroll uh, from the US. So uh, as I said, a pretty bumpy week uh, to expect um, next week and you need to keep an eye on these uh, major event uh, on the calendar. So we will start with the Dixie as usual and um, yeah, as predicted, the dollar was to made another leg to the downside uh, and we've got that uh, nicely after the retest of this uh, previous high here. And as you saw, the, the week continued to the downside with a close below the neckline here. We have um, a uh, break of support here and I think uh, the market still have at least a little bit more room toward uh, the 200 moving average and the monthly S1 and this previous low. That is uh, a key uh, level of uh, interest uh, as you see been tested many times as both a support and resistance and uh, that would be the level that will uh, decide uh, if the this dollar weakness will continue or not. So um, keep an eye on this level down here for the dollar. If if broken we may continue in a continuation move to the downside here so what we have is an impulse a big correction and that would be the continuation if a break happened but first off it is a key support level and uh, you may expect a little bit of a bounce here if that bounce uh, failed to make a new high and we got another brace to break to the downside we do have a bearish continuation on the dollar so that is what I'm watching for next week for the dollar oil pushing uh, to the upside and um, broke above previous high still this uh, key level up here is um, what we should be watching at around the 22 we do have the 200 moving average on the daily coming here uh, sorry on the four hour and if we look on the daily chart we do have now a first higher low and um, a higher high after we broke uh, we see uh, the oil broke above previous high so uh, this is showing a little bit of, um, of a possible strength coming in for oil but uh, nothing to trust totally yet we still uh, want to see a strong break above this previous high to then look for a um, retest and uh, continuation if that would be the case so for now even though we have that break uh, uh, higher here as you see above this uh, previous high and this consolidation we still should uh, wait and see if we're gonna get a break above uh, this uh, previous high which is the key that is where everything uh, collapsed after the first move to the upside here uh, we saw a strong move to the downside so watch that level first and then if broken we start looking for a possible continuation higher as for now bearish gold uh, still holding uh, nicely here in this uh, range as you see we do have a daily range here that is still intact and we may get another push to the upside <coughs> so uh, if we go to the lower time frame like the four hour we see we see it clearly this is your uh, support down here 
and up here at around the 1740 is the resistance and nothing has changed here we're still uh, trading inside this range and you should keep playing this range until we have a break to the uh, either a break to the upside which will send us toward 1800 or a break to the downside which will send us uh, maybe 16 uh, 1640 or uh, maybe even lower toward the um, 1555 once again so uh, nothing else to do here until gold uh, gold left uh, uh, sorry a break out of uh, this range UUSD also reached the top of this uh, range here we do uh, have um, this uh, con consolidation where we have uh, the key support down here and now the resistance is up here at this area tested the previous high this been tested as support as well previously and um, yeah on friday uh, the euro did reach that level and got a little bit of rejection could be profit taking only but um, all in all if um, you see that we do have a correction to the downside like toward this neckline here next week it could be a good level to look for a possible continuation or at least a bounce from uh, this area that would be almost a 50 percent uh, retracement here on the uh, on this leg so if we draw it like this we do have the 50 percent nicely at this neckline so any retest to this area that failed to keep pushing lower it is a good level here to look for bullish evidence and look for another bounce to the upside and um, that would be the first target but if you see a break above this previous high that will signal continuation to the upside on this market sterling um, did also reach a key structure level 1.26 is a nice psychological level we look left we know that this area been tested many times as support and resistance we do have the 200 moving average once again on the daily got tested once tested twice failed another time and we've got another push to the downside uh, last friday so it is a pretty interesting level to watch this one uh, 1.26 and um, yeah could this be uh, just a uh, correction and a continuation it uh, we need to wait and see uh, keep an eye on this little uh, trend line here if it holds as support you may see continuation to the upside or maybe a break above 1.26 all in all if the bulls really want to continue this uh, nice move here to the upside they they have to break above that 1.26 for that continuation if there is no break above that and it keep fails then um, the bears will try to push it back down toward uh, 1.22 um, most um, most sure of that if that would be the case any break below uh, these structure here that would uh, signal that we're going even further uh, down here on uh, this chart USD Jappy a little bit um, choppy last week uh, I would say going uh, sideways uh, if we look on the daily chart we we do see that we had uh, a, um, a strong break to the downside here below this previous structure so uh, the level here is broken but we've got another uh, one day push strong push to the upside but uh, no major structure um, uh, been broken yet so uh, as you see here we had a very strong push to the upside tested the 200 moving average on the one hour to then push lower so if this going like this making some some kind of bearish flag and break that flag i am looking for continuation on this market um, but if uh, they manage to hold it above 107 once again so if uh, the bulls would manage to make another push higher here on the retest hold above 107 then we may see another retest of uh, 107 uh, 90 108 uh, this area may get tested once again uh, but that would uh, still even this would happen that we reach 108 still would not change the the main uh, structure because it is still a um, really important area as far as this is not broken we may see continuation to the downside despite that uh, retest usd chief also followed the plan nicely still making this um, 
squeeze pattern here as you see we see that the lows are getting higher the highs are getting lower but uh, the 200 moving average on the daily was tested and not broken and we saw another continuation lower last week i think we may see a retest of this level down here if we break below this structure so keep an eye on that structure on the lower time frame like the four hour and the one hour time frame I think uh, we may see that continuation toward this area and any break below that will signal continuation. First off, if and when uh, this uh, get reached, look for a possible bounce as first, but do not um, forget that you may get more downside. It is a bit tricky because we had a f impulse here. This might be a correction and one more to the upside. So first of all, watch this level as a possible support but if it fails to hold as support we may see more downside here usd cat also still inside the range and i'm talking about this range here we may see a continuation to the top of it as far as this holding as resistance you may get another rotation to the downside back to the bottom of the range so keep playing this range until we have a break out of it after this rejection here and uh, this co um, consolidation we may see now a possible um, break to the downside so any break below this uh, structure level here that would signal even more downside on this market and maybe even a close of this gap so i'm interested mostly uh, for the downside and I'm watching um, at around uh, monthly R1 in this previous high for a possible sell and if the market does not reach that, le that level and break below this support then it is to sell the retest if it happens. AusUSD had a nice move to the upside still on the daily time frame in this particular leg we are looking on a bullish market um, this uh, rejection we had on Thursday and Friday was a, a bit of a sentiment change and um, we could see some more downside but as far as this uh, structure level here is not broken this market still could uh, do one more leg to the upside i think the market objective is to tag this previous high and to tag the 200 moving average and as i said the structure on this leg is still higher highs higher lows and as far as this level here is not broken we may get one more upside but if this get broken on the daily then it may collapse one more time to the downside so that is what we should be watching now if we go down to the lower time frame we see that this market uh, dipped back down testing this uh, previously broken structure here and uh, the 200 moving average on the one hour uh, is now uh, broken but still it could have the bulls may still have a chance here if they manage to um, break back above this level then to push higher okay so um, keep an eye on that structure and um, if it fails to make um, a push to the upside i think this market is doomed once again to retest the lows down here which is another important level for the bulls to uh, to defend <coughs> New Zealand USD same scenario uh, also um, on the daily time frame we, we do have higher highs and higher lows but uh, this one did not uh, if we look at the Aussie we had a nice break strong break above uh, previous high on uh, New Zealand we do not have a strong break it's almost as uh, if it was not broken at all because there is no strong break above previous high on the daily and um, we do have a shooting star formation here so uh, we may see a continuation back down but even here at around monthly s1 and this previous low that is the key structure level that bulls may uh, defend if tested so watch that as a possible strong support level if it got tested next week and on the four hour time frame i'm talking about this level to give you one more bounce to the upside and uh, yeah that was it for the youtube version of this uh, video thanks a lot for watching guys and once again for all of you who want to test our trading room we still have the 14 days trial for one dollar only you cancel whenever you want no questions will be asked so go to um, my website the links in is down below here and um, yeah use the coupon code trial and you will get 14 days for one dollar only thanks a lot guys and see you next week